Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Brown Hammer and today we're going to be looking at Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 6. Let's get into it. So yeah, they released a brand new Marksman Rifle. It's basically the R7 or as this game likes to call it, the SPR-208. I have already hit one of my craziest speeds ever with this gun on stream. The very first time, not the, I don't think it was the first time I was playing with the gun, but it was one of the first times I was playing with the gun. Check it out right here. Ah, uh, yes. Ah! Like I said, leave it to me to hit marker the AFK people. Wasting time on state of mind, feeling a little lazy, baby, and a bit. Dude, let's go, bro. What was that? Let's go. As far as my current build goes on the gun, I am personally really enjoying what I have on it right now. I just got this stock unlocked and I'm really contemplating taking off the underbarrel for it. I'm not quite sure yet. So let's, uh, we'll, we'll do that for now and just see. Look at this thing, right? Like this looks like what we've wanted for the longest time. As for camos, I mean, in my personal opinion, I think the only camos that look good in this game are the topo ones and like skulls. Skulls looks good and then completionist. So I guess I'm gonna be working on getting this thing gold this video, but also along with that, I have a few other things I'd like to talk about. They also brought back broadcast, which is a modern warfare through map, I believe. This will be my first game on broadcast too. It's broadcast and there's another one that I can't, it's like a tank map, I don't know. I personally don't really enjoy it, but I've only had a little bit to play with it, so I can't say for sure. So I believe broadcast is a Modern Warfare 3 map that they've remastered. I'll be honest, I was not into COD very much. Well, actually, Modern Warfare 3 is where I would have gotten into COD. So I did really enjoy Modern Warfare 3. However, I don't quite remember it as well as other people do. So, wow, that was a very short match. So this here is the other map, Miles Store Tank Factory. Miles Store Tank Factory. I mean, I don't know. If you haven't played this map yet, uh, you'll see what it's about here in a second. So it's actually really cool because it's one of the snowy maps, like a cold map, which is kind of great timing for like winter, Thanksgiving, all that that's about to come out. I don't know. Personally, I feel like this map kind of plays like that one map from Black Ops 3 that had the big rail in the center, like the center of it. I don't remember the name of the map. I'm pretty, it's probably like very obvious or something, but oh Jesus Christ. See, I, I don't know this map. So like you can clearly get to some weird spots that I just don't know about. It's probably a great map for trick shotting to be honest, which is really weird to think of because not many maps nowadays are really great for trick shotting. I mean, I like the map. Like I like the idea of it being new. I like, I guess I like how it's executed. It does look like a great map. Like visually it's very, pleasing god just the sound of this bolt alone dude is absolutely like it's beautiful it's honestly beautiful i love the sound of this gun there's so many cross sections i think is what it is with this map there's a guy up there i'm pretty positive there he is get out of there dude don't be freaking camping on the new maps that, that no one knows yet. Oh, dude, there's a clip here. Here's a clip here. Get out of here, kid. Oh, I personally enjoy these kind of maps that are a little bigger, a little different out of the box. It's just hard to get used to, right? Because... I feel like they completely over clutter their maps. Like I feel like they feel like they have to crowd the maps with way too much. That's a common thing with the base maps and with the, the maps that they've been adding on lately. Like Saldu Harbor could easily go with like a thousand less items than what's currently on there. Also, I have been streaming so freaking much. I need everyone, anybody, anybody at all. You can share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. Share this video. Get my streams out there, man. I really am trying to grow on Twitch. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hate that I had took me so long to actually start up streaming on there. Especially with snipes like these. Did you get him, teammate? I got him. Hit him with the Nosk. 
God, dude, there could have been so much. This is exactly what we've needed from the beginning of the game. And it's what, like 10 months in now? Or like nine or 12? I don't know, we're close. I mean, we're close to the lifespan of a Call of Duty game, right? A year. So we're, we're very close to that lifespan, right? And we're just now getting a new marksman rifle. I mean, like, come on. Like they've added in shotguns, they've added in assault rifles, they've added literally every other class in more times then they've added anything at all with snipers or marksman rifles and that's the, that's another thing that i want to point out there too obviously people use the marksman rifles as snipers because they're they're still snipers they're bolt actions and like it's kind of i guess it's kind of a smart idea to to change the class like the classification there from marksman rifle to sniper like you like there's differences there that are necessary as far as it goes for add-ons though like adding things into the game they should have added more of both types of guns there should be more snipers and there should be more marksman rifles and it shouldn't take as long as it's taken to add them in on top of really hardly ever getting hit markers with this thing you can actually change the rate of fire of the gun we, we have never had the option to change this right here the bolt assembly this is such a great move for call of duty for modern warfare for whatever it is such a great move right you can change how quickly you fire your gun or I, I don't know quite what breach chamber stability is but so i assume there so there's two options here right so it's looking like this one here makes it so this one here looks like it makes every other shot that you take more close to the first shot so your centering is better so you know how like you center you can get your center down and you can shoot and whenever you pull the gun away and do the animation to rechamber it's it's very very close to the same spot right that makes sense however it does come at a decrease of rechambering speed so you don't do it as quick i assume the other one will be flipped right so you can do faster like you know quicker shots less precision and that is absolutely what we need in this game this game is going on for you know this is this is a big game there's no doubt about it. this is a big game i mean look at the size <laughs> I'm just saying they're finally making the right moves in Call of Duty and it's about time, man. It's honestly about time. So for Cold War, because I've never really done it before with any other Call of Duty or any other release of any kind, I'm actually going to request, oh my God. Ah! I'm actually requesting three days off for Cold War. So the day it's released and two days after that, right? And I know three days doesn't sound like a lot. People are getting week, like, you know, week, weeks off for this game. I'm getting three days off for it. And I'm actually going to be grinding that game like no other. I'm not letting myself fall behind in a Call of Duty again. I regretted doing that with Modern Warfare. So I'm not doing it again. I just got to say, like, I honestly can't tell you guys how excited I am for this gun. And, you know what's to come with my channel with modern warfare with cold war maybe i can finally figure out my best style of video and start making it like it's about time man i mean i've been on youtube how long six years seven years almost oh <laughs> he's mad dude this would be a great zombies map i kind of wish modern warfare had zombies speaking of that i saw that the cold war zombies were released and they look they actually look great dude i'm excited for zombies especially because i've missed having a secondary game mode that's not spec ops like, what i have not even ever touched spec ops in my life there's warzone and then there's multiplayer and that's it you've got campaign great but like zombies adds that whole third level of just complexity and like so i mean yeah season six is out there's a new sniper marksman rifle i guess and it's actually great like finally you know let's let's go dude go follow my twitch okay it'll be top link in the description go follow it check me out there i'm streaming probably right now as you're watching this i mean if and if i'm not i will be so go follow me Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you didn't know, drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.